Hello YouTube and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Cayman GT4. It's the 2016 model. This basically was one of my favorite uh, sports car. It's one of the reasons why Porsche is basically my favorite brand. Uh, so yeah, it has this cool Michelin Mobile One um, wrap on it. I think it looks amazing. And uh, so yeah, we're going to go through the car, show you the interior and show you guys how much it is of a track oriented car. guys so the GT4 so this car has the 3.8 flat 6 engine borrowed from its sister the Carrera S um, obviously tuned more uh, for a track it's more like a track oriented car so it's obviously tuned and whatnot but yeah the 3.8 flat 6 producing just around 390 HP uh, which is just mental for a car as compact as this one uh, this car is capable of doing 0 to 100 in just around 4 seconds Alright guys, but what I particularly like from this car is the exhaust note. This is a flat out, um, naturally aspirated engine. So there's no turbo um, robbing the sound of the boxer engine. So uh, this is pretty special about the car. I want you to guys listen to it. guys back in the GT4 so this is not your conventional seat se seats where you have a bunch of uh, you know, have like multi settings where you can hire the seat put it low put it back or forward or play with the lumbar support or even massage seats this is you really have like basically two 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 or four choices bring the seat up or down but really not much difference because you're restricted with the roll cage and the fire extinguisher in the back and you can bring the street uh, the seat forward or backwards but is it, it is a struggle and there's not much to mingle simply because this is a full seat full carbon fiber seat so there's not much to play with now again this is your track car do not expect luxury feature one things one thing that I absolutely hate is the blank switches now obviously a lot of switches are gone um, from your conventional um, Cayman just because this is a Cayman GT4 so it's really pretty ugly how you have a lot of blank switches everywhere uh, whatever at least you have the um, the exhaust note uh, button the sport button the suspension so that's what you basically you, you would use in this car but uh, it's really a bit uh, unfavorable that you do have all these blank switches and this armrest has to be one of the smallest armrests I've seen. It's so small and light, basically just enough just to, to support your elbow. But you will be kicking in your uh, neighbor's elbow as you're swinging down uh, the track. All right, guys. So about these seat belts, um, they're actually not street legal, and I don't understand why because they're completely much more um, secure than your conventional one strap seat belt because you clearly have one two three four five six straps that are 100 percent protecting you but i guess it's just because it's giving you the feeling that it is a sports car and this is obviously a gt4 so they don't want to see with these seat belts uh, but what's really cool about cars that are sold with this is that they actually do have the conventional one strap seat belt all you need to do is rotate this and they're all gone pretty efficient all right guys, you might be wondering now, in a track car like this one, is there any cup holders? Yes, there is. And there's actually two. And uh, it's in the most hidden place. I want you to come forward here. Under this carbon fiber trim, click on that. Click both. And it goes out like that. So this is pretty cool. Um, I like how they hidden it because I personally, this for me, it's pretty disgusting when there is cup holders in the center console. It's, I have it in my car and I sincerely hate it. If I can just replace it with a leather or a little cushion on, on top of it, it'll be great. But I really love how these just go back in place and it's hidden by a carbon fiber um, trim. Even though there's a little cocktail <laughs> sign on that, so that's pretty cool. But other than that, this car is extremely track oriented. Look at the door handles, not your conventional metal or aluminum car handles. This is just a strap, obviously to save weight. Um, obviously it has a basic sound system, really track focused car. So as you guys know, this is a mid-engine Porsche, um, obviously like most of the Porsche. So this is a storage compartment or a trunk if I may call it. You have pretty much a lot of space, it goes pretty deep in there so that's pretty practical for a track car. That we go to the back, we'll also see a secondary trunk, which is a bit smaller but still a decent amount of space. 
Um, again, the engine is somewhere here, so we cannot really show you. Porsche do hide their engines.